All right, this is a 2017 GMC Sierra with a 5.3. Uh, repair shop found some rodent damage that chewed the mass airflow sensor. Replaced the connector, did a good job, and also the sensor. Uh, but they still state there is no activity on our mass airflow parameter. Uh, and I believe there are multiple fault codes uh, related to the sensor or the wiring. So let's start off with a self-test. So we got our codes pulled up. Let's take a look. Intake air temp. Humidity sensor. Mass airflow. Intake air. And our barrel. A lot of fault codes. Uh, so this is not your normal mass airflow sensor. GM calls this a multifunction intake air temp sensor. Not only do we measure airflow and intake air temperature, we also measure pressure and humidity. So let's go pull up some parameters and see what we got going on. So we're key on engine off and our intake air temp sensor is at 93 degrees Fahrenheit. I know for a fact we're about 62 degrees right now and that's what our engine temp sensor and our uh, ambient Temperature is reading 62 to 64 degrees. Uh, let's start this vehicle up and see if we get any grams per second reading from our mass airflow. Engine kind of went stalled right there, but it's running now at least. Yeah, so our mass airflow sensor is not reading. We have no load, uh, which is a direct input from our mass airflow sensor as expected. We do have a good MAP sensor, and I believe there is a separate MAP sensor for this. Barometric pressure is reading okay. I think we're just going to get to this MAP sensor, do a pin test, and just make sure all of these circuits uh, are going to the correct part of the connector, being that it was replaced. So let's start and do that. All right, right now I have a flow chart pulled up, and most flow charts uh, for the automotive industry are just completely useless most of the time they tell you to check ohms resistance uh, stuff that we already know uh, as we can see here we have step number five and they tell you we should have five volts between the signal circuit and ground so this is more than likely going to be a bias voltage on the signal circuit that goes to the mass airflow sensor anytime you see this uh, voltage spec on gms this means that this mass airflow sensor uh, produces a frequency and is pulled down. So this is kind of easy for me. If I know we should have a five volt bias that gets sent from the computer all the way to the mass airflow sensor, if that voltage is there, I know the circuit integrity uh, is gonna be good and this makes my life a lot easier. So here's a wiring diagram and this is our multi-function intake air sensor. And we have one through eight. It looks like there should be eight wires eight circuits um let's go ahead and get to this right now so we're key on engine off air temp sensor signal we got five volts that's should be okay pressure sensor reference we have five volts throttle inlet five volt return there is a ground that is good Pressure sensor signal, we have a ground. Strange. All right, pin five, we should have power, which is good. So pin six on our mass airflow sensor signal, we do have five volts. Uh, this is what I was expecting. This is a pull down circuit. Pin seven, we have a ground, which is good. Pin 8, which is a humidity sensor signal, we have 5 volts. All right, all of these circuits appear to be connected correctly. There are two yellow and white wires, and I did think one of them was possibly crossed because we had a ground on it. That ground was going to pin 4, which is the pressure sensor. When I plugged it back in, we had an accurate reading of 3.9 volts, and I did pull that 3.9 volts down to ground, and we did get a parameter uh, change on our scan tool. So I know we are just all these pins are correct. So now we're going to put an oscilloscope on the mass airflow sensor signal and we're going to see what we get.
So we got the engine running right now and we're on our mass airflow sensor signal circuit and all we have is 5 volts. We don't have a frequency at all. Alright guys, so being that most of these circuits were shorter together, um, I question the 5 volt bias getting sent from the PCM to the mass airflow sensor. There should be a certain amount of internal resistance and if that resistance is wrong, uh, this mass airflow may not be able to pull down the circuit. So I have an external uh, voltage regulator. I applied 5 volts and I also put a 10 to 20 uh, kilo ohm resistor in series. Basically I fed 5 volts with a resistor uh, to the mass airflow sensor directly bypassing the computer and we still had no change. Um, this trick typically works with Fords. Uh, I don't know the internal resistance on this once again, but um, kind of leaning away towards a bad computer. Uh, something is just not right with this mass airflow sensor. So let's keep on going. Okay, so I decided to look at the pins and the third pin from the left did not appear to be in place. So let me show you what I just found. You can pull pin number three right out and pin three is our mass airflow sensor signal so we are monitoring the oscilloscope right now so let me try to push this pin in for the very first time and see if we get a frequency okay guys so that pin uh, was our issue I had to take the connector apart and pop the pin back in uh, so let's take a look at our mass airflow sensor signal right now. Key on engine off. Let's take a zoom in. There is our frequency. I put up a math channel in black. So key on engine off. We have uh, 540 hertz. Uh, let's just take a look at when we start the vehicle. So right around, right around here we could see this black frequency channel start to increase after we start the vehicle uh, let's just go to our next page here okay so about idle we have 2.2 uh, kilohertz of a frequency so yeah this vehicle is fixed this is a brand new connector and I'm just not sure how it got like that um, but that pin is locked into place securely so I think this connector is going to be okay uh, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.